the minutes. New data is showing more potent marijuana and more frequent use are contributing to higher rates of psychosis, especially in young people. That's right. This morning, our psychologist and parent expert, Dr. Cheryl Ziegler, joins us with more information about all of this. Dr. Ziegler, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So why exactly is this happening? So I really want people to take this in because this is really important. We are talking about teens and young adults who are consuming more marijuana because it has easier access. And that marijuana is so much more potent. Mm -hmm. So if you have a pre-existing mental health condition or you are maybe a frequent high daily user, people need to understand you actually really can get psychosis as a result of that potent marijuana in your system mm -hmm. and your developing brain. What do you mean by psych psychosis? What is that? So psychosis is a disorder in which you have hallucinations and delusions. So these people might have an episode after um, consuming THC in which they are seeing things, they're hearing things, they become paranoid. And so it's actually really a very serious condition. You can do things um, under these circumstances that you're not clearly aware of. So a lot of times in these cases, this requires hospitalization. Wow. So prior to this study, who did we believe to be more at risk? And who is the study revealed is actually at risk? Well, it's really interesting because prior to the study, I mean, they have been tracking this. This isn't new. So the idea that psychosis, you know, marijuana induced psychosis, this is not new. Mm -hmm. But for for just comparison, in 2019 when they last did this, it, it's like we were it was at maybe like 19%. We're now the percentages are going up, like 50%, where these high frequent users who are younger consuming this potent marijuana are having psychosis. And when we say younger, how much younger? So meaning, not, not that the users are younger, I'm just saying the younger age bracket, so 16 to 25. Okay. So we're looking, it's trending younger than other populations which were studied because I think the access is so much easier. So no matter what people were saying about, well, marijuana will be legalized and it'll be regulated, the reality is that with legalization, there's greater access. What do you do if, he, if someone is experiencing some type of psychosis? So you have to take that really seriously. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, that requires hospitalization. You immediately go to an emergency room department. Um, you go to a psychiatric care facility. And it's, I want to make it clear that this isn't just a one and done necessarily. That, oh, we had a psychotic episode. Oh, and after a few days or even a week, in the hospital, they came home and everything was fine. You then after that have an increased vulnerability and chance if you continue to use particularly marijuana. So I wanna also be clear, number one on the list. So amphetamines and then all these other drugs are underneath it, but marijuana is number one in terms of inducing psychosis wow. with frequent use. And how long do these effects last typically? Because of course we're talking about that age range right there, but it doesn't end there, right? It kind of continues with you throughout life. It can, it depends on that use. And so I wanna make another really important point. We see a lot of very serious like mental illness type of um, diagnoses happen in that those years, that 16 to 25, 16 to 23, where things like schizophrenia, that's when it appears. I mean, I think that's shocking to people. You see an adult with schizophrenia, but oftentimes those symptoms start in adolescence. So if you have any vulnerability, any family history of mental illness, and then you start using marijuana on top of it, you then increase your chances that this could become actually a lifelong kind of consequence. So it's actually really serious. Yeah, it is. It's very scary yeah. too. Well, we appreciate you coming in as always, Cheryl. Really Thanks appreciate it. Thank you.